What's up, guys? You know how it is. You go to the pet store, you see one of these beautiful boas, a few months old, a couple months old, and you're like, yes, that's what I want right there. And then it's like, boom, bam. All of a sudden, here you are about two years plus down the road. Eh, probably not going to change colors like that. However, I'm using two different ones, but you get the idea. I mean, she's probably pushing three and a half uh, feet, close to four. And you're like, that's okay, I can handle that, not a problem. But then it's like, bam! <laughs> Look. Now you're looking at like five years and about five foot of snake, okay? I love it, all right? And obviously this isn't full grown, this is maybe half grown. The one that was about two years is looking to push 10 to 12 feet. Uh, and the first one you saw is probably looking to push five to seven feet. My point is, is that they grow regardless of how fast they're going to get big and it's going to be pretty quick. If you click right here, you're going to see about a full grown BCI red tail boa uh, and, and how big they truly get. <laughs> and Lord, I'm out here sweating to death, but these snakes are loving this hot, wet humidity. I mean, it just rains. So you guys know how that is, especially when it's, I think about 90 degrees right now where we are. Um, but man, when you truly can see these guys together, uh, they are all different. Two of them are more likely a, a BCI uh, boa instead of truly a red tail, where this guy here, our friend Stark, is the true red tail boa. Stark is the male, uh, the big one. Uh, DJ is, is, is another male. So males do get smaller in this instance, just so you know. And then you're looking at the hypo here. Uh, she's a female. And she will probably push about 10 feet. Females are going to get a lot bigger than males, where this guy here is probably going to push about five to seven feet. But man, look how gorgeous these dudes are. Honestly, we're hoping to, to breed them one day. So look, this is their little, uh, their little um, social distance date here. But it's crazy when you look at how big of a difference the three of these guys are. And then remember, you know, as they get big, enclosures get bigger, rats get bigger, funds go up just remember that when you see this beautiful beautiful little boa at a at one of your pet stores and you're saying man that is definitely something i can do he is so pretty i want to get this for my kid even though this is my favorite type of snake uh it's not necessarily a great beginner snake and if you were going to have one i believe in clint reptile said the same thing that if you could have any one snake this would be it uh, they are. Their temperament is, is amazing. Their, their colorations, I mean, these are three beautiful colorations that are just, where you going? Come here, girl, look. She's like, I'm tired of being on camera. Wow, just look. <laughs> three beautiful boas hanging out. Man, you don't ever get to see that often, but if you ever can, I'm telling you, this is what you need to do. Look at that head difference. <laughs> I mean, literally, that's like four times the size. And you're only looking at five years down the road. That's not long when you think that these guys are going to live about 20 years in captivity if done right. And then hers. I mean, shoot, hers is only maybe half the size of his. And he's got a long way to go. Look, look at this, right? Look, when you sit here and think about that guy coming all the way up here through them. Gosh. I mean, I'm telling you, there's nothing like this experience. I don't care how many snakes you have or you don't have, like them, love them. Truly one of the most amazing creatures you could ever see is a snake. And these beautiful boas truly show you like how amazing they can be. Like I say, they're not for everyone, but I'm telling you, you ever get this kind of opportunity, take it. You can learn something. Even if you're scared of snakes, like I always say, you fear what you don't understand. Knowledge is key. Never forget that. And like I said, they are loving it out here. Look at that. <laughs> Stark's like, look, I don't have to move. I'll just take a little piggyback ride. <laughs> I know some of y'all say, man, you shouldn't have the snakes together. Ah, oh, dude, they're fine. They're fine with a little play date. Nothing wrong with this at all. <laughs> look, look, he even comes in the house when he's called. <laughs> God, he about looks blending in on this concrete. Look at that right there. Look at that tail difference though. 
Look, this is where you can tell the red tail to the BCI. That is a perfect example right there, how beautiful that is. And then this is still beautiful, but it just doesn't quite have that bright red variance through it. Right there. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Yes! How awesome is this? <laughs> Sweltering humidity. I'm dying. They're loving it. The crickets are loving it. But I'm telling you, make sure you do some research before you get this guy. Look at this. Look at this dude right here. <laughs> Just pure power. I mean, that is a good two foot plus stretch. And he's probably going to come off me and go up there. But make sure you do some research. Don't just listen to one YouTuber, Google, uh, and all of that stuff. Make sure you truly have an idea. I mean, you're looking at a, at months to a couple years to five years, and they're still not done growing. And like I told you before, you're looking at enclosure to, to feed and to money. So don't ever forget that when you guys are getting this. I don't care what somebody's selling it for. It's going to cost you more than you think. But as always, like I say, love wildlife, but even more, love reptiles. You know what? And even more than that, love snakes. One of the most misunderstood animals on our planet. And I'll see you guys next time.